Hello, I'm James Yardley. I'm joined today by Alex Savides, Elite Rated Manager for JOHCM UK Dynamic. Thank you very much for coming in, Alex. Thanks for inviting me. Alex, you have now been managing this fund for 10 years. Uh, what have been some of your highs and lows over that period? Um, well, I think it's worth reflecting on what the fund, fund's trying to achieve, firstly. So, broadly, we're trying to achieve a return in excess of the FTSE All Share Total Return Index, uh, and to do that from a subset of stocks that are going through business transformation primarily, uh, and then have a rigid portfolio construction process around it. Um, and I think if I look back over the 10 years, we've done that, and we've done it quite well. So, from a client perspective, um, I think the, the main high is that we've done a good job and we've consistently outperformed the market uh, since inception and we've done it with the process that we originally intended at launch uh, from a subset of business transformation and change stories. Um, from a personal perspective, I think the highs are that I'm still here today telling the story that it's been successful in a very competitive all companies uh, sector as well. Um, and then when I look at the stocks in the portfolio, the, the one that springs to mind as, as, as a real UK dynamic business transformation stock, I think um, backing 3i uh, nearly 10 years ago today um, uh, has been a great investment for us and it's, it's still in the portfolio today and it's still delivering returns, so quite a few highs. So what are some of the lessons that you've learnt over the past decade? I think it's very important um, to have a process. Uh, I think, you know, when I look back at, uh, at sort of the 2006-2007 period when I was building this process, uh, some of the fund managers that I drew on, that I knew, that, that talked to me about what, what I should do, what I could do, um, instilled this, this idea that you need to have an important proce uh, process that people can rely on, that they can understand. Uh, you know, and 10 years later now, I, I can thoroughly say that that is one of the most important aspects. It helps you when you are um, selling the process to clients. It helps the clients try and understand you, what makes you tick, uh, what to expect from your fund, um, how it might perform in different conditions, what what uh, what stocks you might be interested in. So the importance of process is, is absolutely key. I think. I think the second thing is the importance of portfolio construction discipline. Um, I think once you've isolated the kind of stocks that you want to invest in, um, you have to be very careful that you build the portfolio around those stocks in the right way to let let the stocks perform, whilst not taking away from from those through through portfolio construction. And then it's about patience and discipline, about how you invest. Stick to your process. Be patient with your stocks. Uh, know what you're looking for, why you invested in this stock. Uh, what is it? What aspects are you you're expecting to change to come through to perform? Uh, and focus on the right things. And that lets you sift through all the, the rubbish that's sent in your direction, actually. We have so much information. So focusing on the right things and being patient as well. Uh, since you've launched the fund, uh, we've had incredibly low interest rates. Uh, how is the fund positioned uh, if interest rates start to rise? I built a process that was that was um, expected to perform in very different conditions, in monetary conditions that weren't so loose. I also built a process which I said straight uh, at the very beginning was expected to perform in all market conditions by focusing on business transformation, by focusing on self-help stories, by focus, focusing on a subset of good quality companies that maybe could generate a return throughout the economic cycle. So that gives an indication as to what I, th what I think now, if we do move into tighter monetary conditions, um, we're choosing from a subset of stocks that have more about them than just deep value. Mm. They have a bit of growth, sometimes a bit of structural growth. They have returns on capital that are routinely way in excess of their cost of capital, or can be. So a sort of small shift in interest rates, in, in, in cost of capital assumptions, I don't think should affect this fund uh, too much, but who knows? We have to uh, live the conditions to see how we perform through them, but I'm not concerned about it.